I'm Ann Wally. I'm a pat. I'm the Pattern Whisperer, and welcome to my little tutorial on fold over elastic. I do a lot of work with fold over elastic, and I love using it. So today, I'm going to show you what I'm doing. At the moment, I'm just trimming off a very tricky fabric that's woven that won't behave and that didn't get finished in time during the week. So. Here's what some of the fold over elastic does with this fabric. I like to add a little piece here and there to hide seams. And as you can see, that the colour really pops with that edging. A lot of people use different applications of uh, bias. I just like the elastic because it stretches and it does what I want it to do. But with this, it's not as easy as what I thought it was going to be. So. As you can see, I am sewing here and it's not perfect. It's I'm trying to squeeze in and sew, and I'll show you how I start it on when I get to the end of this. But basically, I've got that underneath, putting the fabric in there, and there's a seam that goes down there which folds. And I'm just sewing a straight stitch and moving it, I'm not pinning it first, I'm just very gently hopefully capturing both sides of the elastic as I sew. I've got my daylight light there to help me because you can never get enough light when you're working with black, especially when you're trying to get this fabric to do what it's supposed to do. And because this is a woven fabric, my very quick application of fold over elastic was not so quick. And you can read about my experience in the blog. I've done a post on how I had to get a, a 20 year old fold over um, a vintage. Oh, excuse me. Oh, just get this little one here. It's a bit of action there for you. So I like to just square it off. I haven't turned it over. So this is what I do. You start off, get that piece. I use the dull side, not the shiny side. And I just put that over, start there. And then just keep your fingers so you don't get them caught. Might not be perfect. And now I'm seeing that that's all. Oh, that's a little bit frayed. So while I've still got it underneath there, I'm going to give it a little haircut. vacuum later and keep going. Sometimes I'll turn the corners but with this fabric I'm not definitely not going to do that and I can continue and then you've got that raw edge there I might go back and do a little zigzag on the edge like I have just with that and you've got a little bit of fiddling to do it's not perfect but the overall effect is pretty good. I enjoy it. Let me show you a few of my other little things that I use fold over elastic for. This woven fabric was tricky as well and I used a thinner fold over elastic but it makes that fabric pop. That's one. This fabric has little black dots on it so when I've used the fold over elastic on that being a stretch fabric I've just sewn it, encased the fabric and just sewn a straight stitch. And it works really well. You can see the, the overall effect on my Instagram and see what it looks like. Now sometimes when you've got a sheer fabric that really works quite well but you will have a few misses so all I do is unpick and re-sew on the areas that I need to. Because it's black stitching on black elastic no one knows that you've had to go back and do a little repair job. And another sheer one which is a mesh I made a Marcy Tilton top. Perfect edge. And that was a thicker elastic. It all depends what I get and where I get it from. I just love it. Really makes that black in that pattern become quite pronounced and it just changes the whole look of the outfit. And here are a few other colours. Just scan over here. There's orange, blue, yellow. Just got them the other day and I'm really excited about seeing what I can do with them. Hope that helps with the knowledge that you need to
to be successful in using fold over elastic. Don't be too hard on yourself. You can make mistakes. Just keep trying. You'll get to love it like I do. Thanks for joining me today. Bye for now.